I don't hunt. I've never hunted. I do want to hunt. Uh, so I can't really talk on that matter. In regards to shooting at a deer, how deer react to arrows being shot at it, uh, deer ducking the arrow, deer jumping the arrow, deer pulling like uh, moves from the matrix, like it's Neo dodging bullets. I can't speak to that or answer that. You know, if you want to comment about that, start a little discussion below, have at it. Just about getting close to the deer. That's all. I'm not usually walking up to me now. I think the whole approach to like getting close to deer, it's almost like, I'm like, you know, cats act like they don't care. You know, like they pretend like they don't care when you put something tasty in front of them or even with like when they're stalking their prey or when they're playing with their prey, I've noticed my cats with their mice, you know, they'll let them go and then they turn their heads and they act like they're disinterested in it. And animals totally pick up on that. I think deer pick up on that. I, deer, I think deer totally pick up on you are trying to shoot them. And if you have that intent in you, you're gonna project something in, in your presence, in your art, in your, your sixth sense, whatever you wanna call it, that deep instinct, intuition that we all have, and animals definitely are way more in tune with it than people. They're gonna feel that from you. They're gonna feel that from you if you're hunting it, totally. So I think you need to like change your mindset if you want to get close to a deer. And you have to definitely like do not project the feeling that you are hunting it and you intend to shoot it. Because that deer will totally pick up on that and will know your intention. Just from your, like the smell you'll be emanating, you know, like, like certain chemicals will be released in your body, the higher adrenaline, they'll smell all that on you and they'll know so um just my two cents oh Yeah, I mean, the, the tough part is to get close to them. You, you can't be like, you can't walk directly to it. You almost have to like circle it in a way where it appears like you're walking away, but you're actually getting closer. Um, so it takes a lot of like walking back and forth in like arcs. Um, once you start walking directly at it, it'll just, that'll spook it. That, that's right there. It's just like a sign of so I'm gonna like look away like I'm heading that way as the deer's like watching me like I'm looking that way like what's over there but I'm trying to like walk closer to it as I'm like ah it picked up on something it knew <laughs> I don't want to go any further because that's like my neighbor's yard right there. But it, it like, that's a little spook. And again, this goes back to the cat and mouse game. I'm acting disinterested. Like I'm still looking at what's going on over there, letting the deer relax. And I'll, I could start slowly, you know, walking that way in an arc, getting closer to it. The whole time, like seeing where I want the deer to be and where I want to be. 
if I was going to take a shot. I've already been, like, so close to the deer, I could have taken, like, so many shots on it. It's ridiculous. You know, it's given me so many times. And even, like, looking away from me, putting its head down, so when I shot, it wouldn't be looking at me, which gives, you know, me more time, or it less time to react to the arrow. Um, granted, this deer kind of knows me, so I don't know. But 